Hello and welcome to my 50th birthday stream. I am hey. Kat Kruger. My, <laughs> my pronouns are she, her. Thank you. And I am joined here by my Saturday uh, sells words group. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be playing um, an adventure that I wrote uh, for the Witchlight um, Dungeon Craft. Bianca also wrote one yeah. of these. Um, and let me just post up the, the little link here so you know what we're, what we're running here. Um, and then I'm going to go around the virtual table. Um, before I do that, I'm going to also say that we are raising funds today for World Central Kitchen. So you can see like there's a little cute banner up top and uh, you can um, you can donate at the uh, link below this screen. There's a there's a panel down there that says donate to World Central Kitchen. All right, um, let's start with Cage. Oh, that's me. I'm first. Hi, everybody. I'm Cage. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm going to be playing Otto, a Kenku storm sorcerer who uses they, them pronouns. Oh, my goodness. We're getting a raid. Hi, Jacob. Welcome in. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I'm very excited to be here. Happy birthday, Kat. Thank you. <laughs> Bianca, let's go to you next. Hi, I'm Bianca Bickford, uh, she, her pronouns. Uh, I work at Roll20 during the day, and at night, I write. That sounded much cooler in my head. But <laughs> very happy to be here, and happy birthday, Kat. Thank you. Um, let's go down clockwise, I guess. Uh, it's Kelly. Hi, I'm Kelly Knox. Uh, I, my pronouns are she, her. Tonight, I'm playing Lapis. She is a half flame ranger. Um, yeah, and happy birthday, Kat. <laughs> <laughs> And last but not least, Jason. Hello, uh, I'm Jason. I'm norm uh, he, him in my everyday life. I'm playing Chapter. They are a they, them. Um, tabaxi Swashbuckler. So, happy birthday, Ken. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. <laughs> the only reason I did this was to get all those happy birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> I it was that's the whole stream, everybody. We're done. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That was it. That's a wrap. Thank you. All right. Well, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start. Um, I was going to actually post some of your some of your links here too, um, but I let's just grab everybody's links here, and then we'll get uh, we'll get started on this adventure. Uh, actually, there is an ad break coming up, so maybe we need to vamp a little bit here. Because <laughs> it's saying that it's starting in a minute. Um, so, what do you usually oh. do, Cage? Uh, well, I'm usually playing video games, so I just do something like inventory management. Um, <laughs> I mean, we can just tell people a little bit about our characters. I mean, that's not like so. What do you? What's in your inventory of your? Characters? Yeah, yeah, inventory. Oh, yeah. Well, we can talk about the magic <laughs> items we picked out. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> um, so I'm playing Otto, and Otto is actually a character that I played with this group previously for a, a different campaign. So um, when we were told that we could have one uncommon and one common magic item, I just carried over the uncommon item that they already had, which was a broom of flying. So I had no method to my madness right. of picking this. Um, I just left it in my inventory. So we'll see whether <laughs> this comes up as important. And then of course I picked just a regular old potion of healing for my uh, for my common item. Cause gotta gotta I heal. I wasn't paying that much attention to my inventory, so. <laughs> because the character I'm playing, um, her name is Suri. She's a cleric and uh, was playing in one of uh, Cage's games. And so she was great to bring over. I don't have a lot of good inventory and I forgot to change um, that rule. So I'm going to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> kind of love a bit. cheater right out the, out the bat. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> what else is everybody carrying? Well, I forgot all about this, so I also have a healing potion. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. I yeah, I completely forgot to uh, add a magic item too. So I'm I'm looking very quickly through. 
Real. It's very good that an ad break is in progress. So oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> Jacob already, also <laughs> just donated a bunch of community gifts. Um, Bianca got one. Look at hey, that. Hey, thank you. Awesome. Can, can I pick a movable rod? I know I got that one game we played. Sure. Yes. Oh, there's also been a donation. Oh, Jacob donated twenty five dollars to Yay. World Central Chicken. I almost said World Central Chicken, uh, World Central Kitchen. I mean, they're probably <laughs> gonna cross in the streams. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Move. Hey, cat. I did choose. I did wear my favorite one of my favorite shirts on purpose for you. Let's see. Oh. Yes. Yeah. That's cool. <gasps> oh. This is from the cover of the adventure. <laughs> and the art. The art is by Ma Crook. Uh, and I'm going to see if I can put this up on the yeah. screen so here. So pretty. Aww. It's so cool. It's gorgeous. I love it so much. Um, did just such an amazing job of capturing the feeling of Alice in Wonderland but in a slightly different setting and I'm not going to spoil it. <laughs> oh, I love the, I do. I love the art so much. I had to, <laughs> I had to get the shirt when, when you wrote your adventure. Uh, All right. Chapter. What, what do you have in your inventory? I chose a card sharps deck because uh, the other Sunday game that I'm playing in, uh, one of the characters has a card sharps deck and it's very cool. It's from the uh, Deck of Many Things book <laughs> and uh, gives you some Gambit-like options. Speaking of X-Men 97, mm -hmm. which we weren't on the stream, <laughs> but we were before. <clears throat> In the green room? Yes. <laughs> green screen room. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And with that, we will start the adventure. I am going to start, uh, I'm going to go backwards um, in the in the little pattern here and jason can you tell me what chapter is uh sort of doing on this uh, evening chapter is uh reclining in a hammock um chapter is one half of, of a partnership there was a bard named verse and chapter and verse uh were separated we won't we won't talk about how or why because that's neither here nor there. But uh, chapter and verse have been separated, and chapter has been looking for their partner, and um, is kind of daydreaming about what would have happened had they not uh, gotten into that argument and all of, all of those things. So kind of just daydreaming about where their partner is and how how they might find them. All right, and. Um... Kelly, what is Lapis doing on this fine evening? Uh, Lapis lost track of time. She's a wanderer. That's all she likes to do is just walk around the forest and listen to the birds. She spent today watching a squirrel for far too long. Uh, so she's kind of wandering around, kind of looking for maybe a place to camp for the night. But basically, she's looking up at the trees, um, just kind of spacing out a little bit. <laughs> Bianca, what is Suri doing? So Suri, uh, in her spare time, likes to volunteer at the temple, um, and so she's at the the temple of Jonti, her uh, her patron. She's a she's a nature cleric, so very much happy when she's out um, working, like planting flowers, uh, any gardening. And so she's while she's sweeping, though, she's really not too present. She's thinking about her next recipe because she always likes making better and better recipes. So <laughs> she's kind of daydreaming about how could I change that one. But that one that I made, it burned too fast. And so she's both reminiscing, but also just kind of lost in her own thoughts as she's um, as she's just trying to think of the next fun thing to bake for her friends. <laughs> and uh, Cage, what is uh, Otto doing? Yeah, so uh, one thing that uh, chat needs to know about Otto is that um, their background <laughs> is they are... Um, they are the child of adventurer parents. Um, and so, uh, uh, they are as when their parents are away adventuring, they, they do a lot of, um, celebrity adventures. Yeah. So they're celebrity adventures, <laughs> um, specifically. Um, and so, uh, yeah, when they're off on an adventure, Otto can often be caught daydreaming, wondering what kind of wild adventures their parents might be on, um, this time. All right. 
So it, for the most part, most of you are sort of daydreaming, losing track of time. Um, and each of you, um, as you're sort of like lost in thought, you realize that in a blink of an eye, there's sort of this change in the atmosphere and you are no longer in your forest, on your hammock, in your um, cozy homes. You are, or in the temple, you are uh, in a different forest. And you find yourselves standing along a path um, with a corridor of trees that line this forest pathway. Um, and it stretches out for as far as the eye can see. There's this thick canopy of leaves above that allows just the perfect amount of light to illuminate the path ahead of you. And you just arrive there and see each other. Hello. <laughs> Lapis uh, looks around. She, she has a like a messenger bag on, uh, you know, diagonally strapped across her. She puts her hand on her bag real quick just to make sure whatever's in it is still in there. And then she just kind of nods to herself and stares at chapter. <laughs> Hi. Um, <clears throat> nice to meet new friends. Uh, uh, I didn't even think about this when I said it. Uh, sir, he's kind of looking at the broom in her hand and then looking up at the others because she was, you know, mid sweeping. And then just kind of looks at the forest floor and. Continue or... sweeping? Yeah, I'm just, not, just <laughs> not really sure. Just kind of raises it and salute and then kind of looks at it. But, uh... uh. Hello. I'm not sure how we got here, but it's nice to meet you. Uh, I think Otto pulls out their broom of flying <laughs> and <laughs> also kind of does like a little like you kind of did like like though you like lifted up the broom. I think they'll also do the same thing um, as a Kenku. They are a master of mimicry. And so I think they just make like sweeping sounds and then maybe like um, the sound of like air rushing past you, you know, like as if because like flying on the broom. <laughs> Lapis watches this happen and she looks down at her bag and goes, Psst, I, I think we were supposed to bring a broom to this party. <laughs> and then a little head a little head pops out and it's a little purple drake. She's a drake warden ranger. So oh she's carrying God. a little a little drake in her bag. <laughs> Incredible. Um question. Uh would chapter still be in like reposed? <laughs> <laughs> As they were in the hammock. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna say yes. You're just like uh, leaning back on the dirt path, like you were resting there. Very um, Burt Reynolds on the, uh, <laughs> no. on the, on the no. bear rug. No, not at all. Let's no. <laughs> just with with really fine clothing. Very um, uh, Asterian from Baldur's Gate Three. That's right. I know my audience. <laughs> They'll get up and brush brush themselves off. <clears throat> what would you like to do as you have introduced yourselves to each other and are standing on this forest path? Um, what time? Do you know where we are? No. I, I just got here. Uh, yeah, Otto will shake their head as well, like uh, saying no. Um, and, and so... With, with the mimicry, the way that Otto primarily communicates, uh, I don't know if y'all remember this or not, but um, they've been around a lot of adventurers uh, because of their parents. And so uh, they know a lot of like phrasing that relates to adventures, magic, etc. And so when they talk, it, it's like, like a... a a bunch of different like older adventurers and like things that they might have say said so like i think maybe at this point in time otto's like and where does the adventure take us today you know <laughs> that was very matt berry of you <laughs> oh my gosh, i love that <laughs> new york city new york city <laughs> What well, Lapis is not used to people. She's only used to her drake, so she's going to take a couple steps back and say, well, have fun with the broom broom party. 
Ruckus and I are, <laughs> are going to go this way. If you, like, turn around and start walking, Otto will just, like, follow, like. <laughs> <laughs> She's, like, slowly backing up before she starts to turn around. <laughs> uh, Suri will uh, search her pockets and say, wait, wait. Uh, and she will grab. Drake treats? Yeah, just gotta see how many. <laughs> she will grab. She'll grab two treats. Uh, and I guess give them both um, to Lapis, although she doesn't know that's her name, and say, uh, I made I made these scones this morning if you would like to take these on your for your journey. She stops she's just, she hears scones. <laughs> she's kind of looking around too, like, are, am I on a journey? <laughs> so uh, she's holding out two little two little scones that are, I mean, are fresh, but from this morning. So. The Drake pops out, runs and grabs them from your hand, takes them back into the satchel, and Lapis says, Th "Thanks. That that was ruckus. I'm Lapis, but we're still going." <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, it was okay. nice to meet you. I'm I'm sorry, and uh, baking's kind of my thing. So if you enjoy those, they might make you feel a little stronger after you've eaten them. There's a little burp from the bag. They're obviously gone already. <laughs> <laughs> I think they still only get two temporary hit points, but okay, uh... good. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't get any because uh, Ruckus ate them. <laughs> I'm, I'm with our Kenku friend. Where where does the adventure take us? We're here. We're together. We're obviously here for a reason, right? I don't. Have I have I seen? Has Suri seen a forest like this? Cat, is there anything different about it? Um, you can make an intelligence uh, investigation check. Yay, uh, while you're doing that, uh, Otto will introduce themselves, and you just hear like the sound of like a drink being poured, <laughs> um, and then they they say, "But common folk call me Otto." <laughs> <laughs> uh, distracted by the voice, um, <coughs> Surrey will nod. Uh, that was a one, but I do have Lucky, so I get to Hey, roll don't again. forget you have Lucky. Don't forget your Lucky. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we said investigation, right? <laughs> yes. First one out of the gate. Uh, that is a nine. Uh, you know, you're looking around. I think you're kind of disoriented by the fact that you were quite literally in a temple just a few minutes ago, mm -hmm. and now you are on this forest path, um, and you you feel a little disoriented. Um, as you're having this conversation, though, Lapis, you have continued walking, correct? Mm -hmm. Slowly, because yeah, she, she's no, she's noticing that it's not her forest, so she's not tearing off or anything. Yeah, you. Uh, after a few minutes, uh, you see people up ahead, and they happen to be this group. <laughs> Besides, <laughs> this this kind of a forest ruckus. <laughs> she walks up to them. Hi again. Were you? Over there. Um, as Welcome you back. as this happens, um, you notice you all notice down the path there is a white rabbit folk heron gone uh, hopping along the path. Um, very um, hurriedly, um, they are dressed in a blue coat. Uh, with white cuffs They're, they've got this flowing red scarf and it's got multiple pockets brimming with a bunch of items in it um and uh hops along um and you can just sort of hear this heron gone say oh so very late so very late um and uh looks up and says oh dear um i suppose you've um Fallen in through the Fay Portal. Fay Portal. Fay Portal. It, it's that time, isn't it? And he pulls out uh, a watch from his or sundial from his uh, his pocket um, in the scarf. Oh, oh yes, it is indeed. Well, um, might I ask um, 
where you would like to go. Um, where are you going? Oh, I have very important business, you see. Um, well, I suppose it's the Queen's business. I don't know if I should tell you. Well, I mean, clearly we're here for a reason. The Fae wouldn't have brought us here without a reason. And he'll turn to Lapis and he'll be like, right? Oh, you... Lap Lapis is whispering to her bag, he's not food, just listen. <laughs> exactly what I, and I think Otto just like is repeating what Chapter said and sounds like Chapter. He's like, Fae Portal, Fae Portal. <laughs> and it's like the exact voice of, of Chapter. <laughs> <laughs> Sound great, friend. <laughs> oh my, oh my. Um, well, um, I suppose you you need to be you need to be off. Um, I don't suppose you would help a, a young artificer, would you? I is, mean, is, clearly, is everything okay? <laughs> well, you see, um, I am quite new to this position. Um, the previous artificer um, left rather er, suddenly. Um, um, yes, yeah, suddenly. Um, it, the you see the the clockworks of the of the of Bell Eternum are um, well, well, they're misfunctioning, malfunctioning, um, and it's my duty to fix it. If Does we that... help you, can you help us get back home? Um, well, I, yes, of course. Well, I I can help I'm you get to the castle. Um, and the queen, of course, would um, grant you permission to leave her domain. Should you follow the rules? Rules? I, I'm sorry, friend. I I think I missed your name. I'm sorry. Oh, I am uh, <clears throat> Air Spring. Chapter. Quite nice to meet you. And you just hear the sound of a drink being poured again. <laughs> 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 um, also, Kat, we just hit your $100 donation goal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, everyone in chat. That was fast. <laughs> what a great birthday gift. Thank you. Um, yeah. Um, so air spring, you can I can I actually get you all to make a what what's your passive wisdom actually? Wisdom perception for all of you. Uh, passive perception fourteen for chapter thirteen. Twelve for Lapis, and also thirteen for Sue. I think um, I think you all recognize that there's something odd, like Air Spring um, really hesitated with uh, his name, mm -hmm. um, and there was something very odd about that. Um. Chapter would love to uh, insight check that, if, if we may. Absolutely. Uh, all right, let's see. Ooh, nine total. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to the and DP. Yeah, you're not, you're, you can't really say exactly what is going on with, uh, with this uh, hair and gone. Mm -hmm. Does the forest around us sound normal? Okay. Is it busy with animals? It's, uh, is it different than Lapis would be used to? Um, you do hear some regular forest sounds. Uh, I'll get you to make an investigation check as well. Okay. <laughs> 14. 14. All right. You notice that there's kind of a ticking sound in the forest. And when you look at the trees, um, the veins on the trees actually look like they're, there's like a bit of copper running through it. Ooh. Okay. 
That's totally Lapis normal. is easily distracted, so she's going to walk over and look <laughs> at it. <laughs> um, I I think since chapter can't really suss out anything um, about Airspring, I keep thinking Airstream like the trailer. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I, chapter would would say in Sylvan, um, "Are you sure everything is okay? You seem a little you seem a little off." But this is in Sylvan. Um. I think um, I think Airspring um, would just sort of um, nod and and say, "Oh, of of course. Um, it's just that you have entered into the realm of uh, the domain of Bellyturnum, um, ruled by Queen Rosora. Um, you must, of course, f abide by her rules. And one of the rules is that the letter." h cannot be spoken at this moment the rules do change letter eight uh, yes because uh as i understand it um particularly egregious is the word elo um on account of l being in the word oh oh okay well, that is certainly <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> precisely, precisely. Um, as I as I said, though, um, the the, um, the etiquette Kate. the etiquette of Bell Eternum um, is um, ever changing uh, on the whims of whatever um, gossip or rumors uh, come from the other courts of the other domains. Um, Man, I wish Otto could just say whatever they want to say because I want to make a captor joke because your name has an H yeah, in yeah, it. It's right there. It's right there. <laughs> but, but Otto has never heard anybody say captor. I guess maybe like captor. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah. Yeah. Um, right. might you might you assist a um young artificer? Um, Absolutely. I, I could always um. I can at least guide you to uh, the queen herself, who, um, if you... I think you mean herself. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> Airspring looks around. Difficult for me to laugh. <laughs> because they all start with that letter. Ah, 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 ah. Otto's actually saying that right now. <laughs> Otto, you sound like you're a purple puppet. <laughs> um, when when Airspring um, makes that error and you point it out, uh, you notice uh, in the trees there's like a long black tail, but it has a clock hand attached to it. And uh, Airspring says, oh, time to go, um, and uh, grabs a key out of his pocket. And um, in front of you, um, a bunch of doors show up. There are four different doors that show up. One has um, bark skin. Uh, one is a spongy red door with white spots. Uh, another is a midnight blue door engraved with glowing phases of the moon. And then there's another white door with an array of wrought iron numbers from the f from numbers 1 through 12 on its sur surface. And very quickly, Airspring opens the last one up and, uh, and says, come along, come along. Um, Follow hops, me. Hops through the door. I'm in. Shrugs and follows. <laughs> I'll hop on characters. their broom for no reason. <laughs> for no reason. Like a sorry looks at her broom and holds it and just very curious, keeps walking. Not a flying broom. <laughs> Not a flying broom. Follow. <clears throat> All right. Um, so you immediately are taken to. Um, 
another area of the forest. And it is, um, what you see ahead of you are these rolling green hills that are dotted with wrought iron numbers, uh, but they roam on hoofed feet and occasionally let out a bleat as uh, between chewing on lush foliage. Like a goat or a sheep? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Excellent. Chapter two, follow, follow hairspring, but we'll not say hairspring. <laughs> Just in case. Ruck, Ruckus has definitely got his head out looking around and um, Lapis is kind of like hugging the bag close to her, kind of because she's being protective, but also so he doesn't jump out and go after the, the, sh the goats. <laughs> the goat sheep. The, the goat, goat sheep. numbers. Mm -hmm. the yeah, I think as we like are start, they... oh, go ahead. Uh, are they running away from us as we move forward? Like, are we spooking them? They just seem like they're they're grazing, um, and uh, they're not they're not afraid. Thurry would like to just, if anything, would just try and gently pet one just to see what, like, if she can figure out what kind of animal it is. Okay, do you want to maybe make an animal handling check? <laughs> Yes, and she will say a quick prayer and cast guidance. <laughs> nice. That is a dirty 20. Very nice. All right. So you um, you pet this creature, and um, it seems like, to your understanding, that it is a type of sheep. Um and um, these wrought iron numbers are just sort of roaming freely, uh, grazing. Um, and when you pet the sheep, it lets out another little meh. And then um, uh, walking up the hill, you notice a, um, a pocket watch faced creature moving towards you, wearing a bonnet. Um, she she basically has like um, the clock hands form the shape of her eyebrows, um, and she's holding um, uh, a staff, and it looks like she is the shepherd of these number sheep. Uh, oh, what? Hello, what? What on earth are you doing here? Following the air spring. Oh, hello there. Um, oh, I was um, muted. I think Otto says, um, God, Jason, what was it exactly? You're like, Faye. Faye Portal. Yeah, yeah, because you said, <laughs> what on earth are you doing here? Faye Portal. Faye Portal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, that does tend to happen, doesn't it? Um, Air Spring. Um, Airspring just sort of uh, nods and, and, and says, I indeed, it does. Um, well, TikTok, um, I see everything is in order here. Um, I, I suppose we should be on our way. Um, it's quite the journey to the castle. Does TikTok know any dances? <laughs> Took me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Ignore me. <laughs> <clears throat> um what are you doing uh are you are you just hanging out with what's everybody else doing i know that suri was sort of petting the the wrought iron sheep i mean i'm just kind of like hovering on my broom hanging out vibing <laughs> just following following yeah. our our bunny friends yeah taking all it right. all in Trying not to look with any sort of um, hungry intent. <laughs> I don't know if I said this chapter as a tabaxi, um, cat person. Um, all right. Uh, while you're just sort of um, having, like, you know, Airspring is having this conversation with TikTok, um, who's, you know, inquiring about what you're all doing there, um, suddenly, the um 
one of the one of the number sheep lets out a frightened <laughs> and they just all start they just scatter um and you notice um that there is a mechanical creature a wolf that oh. sort of is starts lurking around um and TikTok looks over and says, oh, my word. Um, I don't suppose any of you are uh, capable of, of helping out here. Um, that nasty old wolf is, uh, um, is always about. And I think it's just taken an opportunity while I was chit-chatting. Happy to help. I mean, <laughs> please to assist. Airspring, oh, airspring, uh, covers, covers, um, his mouth, uh, and, uh, and that tail that you saw earlier, uh, it kind of like, it's just in the air in front of you. It just sort of swishes back and forth. And then there is what you know is a displacer beast oh. that appears. Um, except it looks a little bit different. It's got its tentacles are actually like clock hands. Yeah. Um, and Airspring says, "Oh, um, Grimshaw, these are these are the guests. Um, my guests, my guests. They are uh, in aid of. Uh, they are offering aid um, to the queen. Um, they have not yet um, been um, versed in the etiquette." Um, Yes. Um, and Grimshaw just sort of like hovers in the air and has their tail like just underneath their their jawline. And with a big smile just says, oh, well, perhaps I could be of assistance here for the queen. You can't say that word. I got in trouble for saying assistance. I beg your pardon. <laughs> you, you said ear, but with the other letter. Don't, don't oh. show up grinning. No, no. You see, the rule has changed now. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> What's the rule now? I have to said that, by the way. <laughs> Um, you must include the letter H in every sentence you speak. At Could least say, once at least we have to say You letter. have to. We have to. Have to. Have to. Absolutely. Chapter will look at Otto and say, we have to. <laughs> <laughs> Before I uh, wander off, I should like to uh, send you off with a happy little poem. A helpful little poem. Oh. You see, little TikTok has lost her flock and doesn't know how to find them. Leave them alone and they won't come home. And so too shall you be stranded. And with that, Grimshaw just sort of like fades away and disappears. What is the wolf doing while this is going on? Uh, stalking. And okay. uh, TikTok is, uh, you know, she's already gone off to, to try to uh, ward off the wolf. Um, what would you like to do to um, ward off this wolf from snatching the <laughs> little sheepies? Um, how far away is our wolf? How far away is the wolf? <laughs> <laughs> there are no consequences <laughs> in, in real life <laughs> if you die in the game you don't die in real life <laughs> that's, that's not what they told me <laughs> dungeons and dragons school um the wolf is uh so you're sort of like at the top of the hill and the wolf is at uh, uh sort of like on the tree line at the bottom of the hill um, and some of the sheep are you know scattering around so I would say like about a hundred hundred twenty feet away 
Um, Shaftra's I... happy to like throw a throw a uh, one of the magic cards at it to try to you know scare it off. Lapis okay. says, "Wait, wait!" And <clears throat> Lapis is going to cast "Speak with Animals." All right, and yell, "Hey!" <laughs> <laughs> Just trying here. <laughs> I assume that this is that we wouldn't consider this cre we would consider this creature to be hostile towards us. Yes. Hostile. Okay. Ha halt, she says. After <laughs> <laughs> will join in and say, How dare you? Yeah. <laughs> does the does the wolf seem like it's acting like a real wolf and does it understand her? Can you make a nature check? Yes. 16 plus 2 is 18. All right. Um, you're noticing that um, it is it, it is a strange combination of both wolf and construct. Um, so it does seem to understand you. Its ears perk up. Um, but you can also see beneath the fur that there's like metal ribs and its eyes look like they're made out of gears. Okay. Uh, Lapis is going to say, what do you want? Are you uh, hu hungry? <laughs> She's <laughs> trying to work the H's in. <laughs> uh, it, uh, it, it lets out a low growl um, as it sort of blends back into the tree line and you see a little bit of a rustle as it's trying to to get <clears throat> somewhere else um in a different position she's gonna point at suri and say this one bakes us. <laughs> Ooh, she can't come up with age <laughs> for hangry wolves yes <laughs> angry wolves that <laughs> Uh, I think Chapter will start making their way towards that, you know. Not it's it's not Kava rushes in, but it's you know, <laughs> it's it's uh it's Chapter starts <laughs> making their way towards the enemy. Okay. <clears throat> um I'm going to say like each of you can decide what you want to do about the wolf and then we can determine what kind of skill check is involved to um, get this wolf to not hunt these sheep, whether it's scaring it away or subduing it or um, whatever else you want to come up with. Did it seem to react to speak with animals? Sort of, yeah. It, you, you saw that, uh, well, Lapis saw that its ears perked up. And then it just snarled. Um, how far away is the the wolf? It was about a hundred to one hundred twenty feet away from you. It's probably closer to one hundred twenty now that it's in the forest. Um, if we start to follow it, actually, sorry, we'll say, um, friends, if if I can get a little closer, I I might be able to cast a spell that will make the wolf a little friendlier happier us. Yeah. Happier. <laughs> happier um i think chapter would look to tiktok to see how she might want this threat dealt with like do you want it do you want it scared away do you want it handled <laughs> with finger quotes handled um tiktok you could see that her eyes are going like a felix the cat tiktok uh back and forth as she's <laughs> trying to figure out how to you know have a, a sentence with h's in it and she says um well harm is not um acceptable by the warden of the queen's forest uh so i would suggest not harming the creature. Lapis does look at Suri and say, "Do you have any more of that food? Like 
a hearty meal. <laughs> I, I could whip something up if uh, if we have an, an hour or so. Mm. We want to wait that long. Howard. <laughs> an hour. Howard. <laughs> I don't I don't think that's the rule, but that's fine. <laughs> Is the is the hair and gone still here? Like, where's everybody else? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Uh, Hairspring is um, is just kind of like looking between everyone. Not really a not really a fighter. Um, okay. It's a very young bun. I mean, the idea of casting a spell to make this hairy wolf friendlier feels like it might be uh, a pretty good idea do you do you all want to combine efforts to uh, get yeah yeah okay. great all right let's uh let's start with um who wants to take the lead here i mean i think otto will probably just use the broom of flying to get into like a position that maybe others wouldn't be able to get into to sort of, I don't want to like corner the wolf to make it feel like it's like, I don't want to like intimidate or anything like that, but um, sort of hurting, hurting the wolf instead of the sheep. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay. I like that. Um, okay. And then, so Otto goes off to do that. Suri is going in with the spell. Mm -hmm. What are um, Chapter and Lapis doing? I think Lapis is still kind of yelling at the wolf, trying very hard to use H words, but to try and keep it to stay back. Oh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> and Chapter. I think Chapter would uh, take a cue from Otto and would attempt to go the the other direction right so to hem it in as it were and um use feline agility to be able to move pretty quickly and uh so if auto is on one side and chapters on the other side they can kind of direct it where they need where they need it to go once um suri is able to cast whatever spell all right i am gonna get all three of you then uh who are basically hurting the wolf uh, to make a charisma check, just a straight up charisma check. Ooh. Unless you want to use, um, if you do want to use intimidation, persuasion, deception, you could do that. Oh. Uh, persuasion, I think is what um, you Yeah, I'll do, oh. oh man, I don't want to intimidate, so I guess I'm going to just do straight charisma, but I do have that, a proficiency in that. Um, also, while we're doing this, um, Suri hears um uh caca -ca in her head and you hear this like boisterous it is i and then you hear the sound of a drink being poured um and then you hear like another voice being like just opening up a line of communication <laughs> sorry is so distracted right now just kind of like amazing I love it. But the, the sound of the drink, she, she's like. If you look at Otto, they're like giving eye contact to you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Kat, could I talk you into letting me do animal handling? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I rolled a six, so I probably should have given myself enhance ability or something. <laughs> I rolled eight, even with my bonus. Nine. Chapter got a natural 20. On their, on their persuasion check. So. Yay. All right. What what H word are you using? Um, <clears throat> um, here for. Here for. And hereafter, stop harassing these poor herders. Herd, uh, herd, and this herd of <laughs> cute numbers. <laughs> There's the an ancient sheep, you know. And everybody else got... Did you all get below 10? Yeah. 
<laughs> We're all like, yeah. Damn it. Mine was a twenty-three. So if we average it, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if uh, TikTok and uh, oh. TikTok and uh, hairspring hairspring can uh, can help hairspring. you. Hairspring. <laughs> oh, wrong day. Oh, eighteen. All right. And eleven. All right. So uh, combined, you are able to, uh, to sort of like herd this sheep, uh, this wolf, uh, towards Surrey. Surrey, what would you like to do at this point? Uh, within thirty feet uh, from it hearing me. Um, so this will be animal friendship. Uh, it must see and hear you. If the intelligence is four or higher, oh, uh, the spell fails. Maybe I'll just pause there. Uh, no, it is not. It's three. Um, otherwise, the uh, they must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or be charmed um, for 24 hours. All right. Uh, spell save DC is 13. I'm also giving it disadvantage because uh, you all uh, succeeded. Uh, so its lowest roll is an 11. So it is charmed. So that you have this mechanical wolf that it was low and crouched down and suddenly it tilts its head at you, puppy-like. Uh, Sari will uh, put her hand out and just and uh, beckon. It slowly paws its way forward. Oh, she'll check, she'll check pockets. Um, there's gotta be something, a crumb or <laughs> she's checking. Uh, she'll find going through her bag. Oh, and there's half a piece of old jerky. <laughs> so she'll she'll hold that out and say, "Here." It sniffs at it and takes it uh, between its teeth, and then chomps it back slightly, and then hairspring comes over and you you see like this piece of just scrap metal from his pocket from one of his uh scarf scarf pockets um he hands it over to you um and says um i'd rather not feed it but um if it is hungry um perhaps you could a piece of metal mm -hmm. See, thank you with an h uh, hum, hum, thank you. At this point, uh, Ruckus peeks out of the bag again, and he takes his little hand out and holds it out like <laughs> two. <laughs> no, she, uh, she's got nothing. That was like old jerky. Surrey's I'm sorry. Surrey, I, I feel like I feel like the situation oh, no, no. here is like no, Surrey is basically spring. like the the grandma with the candies yes. at the bottom of their, her purse, except it's uh -huh. jerky. <laughs> the count, the countess. Um, yeah. No, oh uh, yes. Hairspring, hairspring means for you to uh, give the piece of metal to the to the mm. wolf. Yeah. So Surrey will take it, uh, just nod her head, in in acceptance. So I, there's what is the age word? Humbly. Humbly accept. Uh, <laughs> and holds it out to the um, to the wolf and the wolf chomps it back and you just hear like a sort of like a hmm cute very cute <laughs> and um, Lapis and Suri you are both halflings right? yes um, <laughs> I don't think that just like it counts, by the way. <laughs> no, 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 no. But um, <laughs> we have a wolf, and we have Surrey, who is a halfling. Maybe uh, this new wolf might be a, a willing mount. <laughs> now that now that you have a friend, right? Like this wolf into battle. Says, Heck uh -huh. no. <laughs> <laughs> Dragons are fine, but... <laughs> yeah. 
Suri, is that something that you want to do, or do you just want to leave the leave the wolf content with its uh, metal and jerky? At the moment, because she's still trying to, you know, make have make a friend, uh, she'll mm -hmm. wait a little bit, but just kind of, you know, pet pet the wolf. Um, uh, and actually, she she will say, uh, "How about a name? Do you have one?" And kind of hoping that. Um, uh, Lapis can understand if the wolf answers because uh, Suri wouldn't be able to, but I think Lapis still might. Lapis will repeat the question. Have a um, name? <laughs> <laughs> the wolf paws one straight line on the ground. Lapis shrugs. <laughs> and handy? Is is your name one? Uh, you you hear like like a rough. <laughs> that means yes. What asked. a handsome name! What a <laughs> handsome name! Otto just repeats the like the barking sound that the wolf makes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hairspring uh, says, "Um, well, um, now that that's sort of handled, um, perhaps." We can bring our new friend with us and happily wander into uh, another area where it might have more to feast on um, as it is possibly still hungry. <sighs> Hairspring seems exhausted by saying all those ages. <laughs> Let's head out. <clears throat> um, TikTok says, oh, thank you ever so much for your help. Um, should you should you require uh, any assistance from me in the future, um, well, I shall be here. Um, and Hairspring leads you, uh, leads you deeper into the forest. Um, and how long does this spell last, Suri? 24 hours. Nice. All right. So this wolf is uh, your buddy. <laughs> what did you cast? Uh, animal friendship. Oh, nice. Yeah, I didn't realize it was 24 hours. That's sick. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, all right, so you wander for a bit with this wolf companion. Um, and um, after a short wa walk, um, while well, you're not actually sure how long, how much time is passing because you are in the Fey domain, it seems short. Fey and portal? Fey portal? <laughs> Fey portal. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then all of a sudden you reach this area of the forest where uh, the trees give way to these large um, fungi that loom as tall as trees. And nearby you hear this delightful, if high-pitched, choir singing in the distance. Um, and then the song abruptly comes to a halt when one of them, one of the singers um, begins to cough. <laughs> Sorry. Was there an H in that? I, I didn't. <laughs> um. It was in cough, cough, cough. <laughs> Is this a sound that Lapis would recognize? From her days in the forests, mm, make a not, not nature, the but the yeah, make a yeah, make a nature check <laughs> or history check. Mm, it's not good either way. Nature <laughs> check is seven. Is this something that maybe uh, Otto's adventuring parents maybe have had a history with that maybe Otto knows something about? <laughs> You can make a history check. I don't have a very good uh, modifier, but you know what? 13. So, Otto, you heard um, from your parents that um, in the Feywild, there are creatures called um, campestries that are basically tiny little chatty mushrooms that like to sing. Oh, no. I love it already. <laughs> Yeah, and you hear like um the sound of kind of like an older like 
witch lady come from uh, Otto. It's like a hag. Oh dear, we call those compestries. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> um, Hairspring says, "Oh, um, it uh, it seems that the uh, the the count is uh, is um, uh, auditioning and and uh, practicing." Um, the count. Was, uh, yes, Count Cremini. <laughs> what a happy name that you just said, happy name. Yes. And um, Chapter's gonna look around for the, for the, what was his name? Grimdark, Grimjaw? Gr Grimshaw. Grimshaw. Grimdark. Grimdark. Uh, Grimdark. Um, Jim Dark. Different game, different game. Um, yeah. Uh, Chapter's gonna look around for Grimshaw and, um, and just kind of say into the air, uh, hello. May we get a ruling on if there are any rule changes for our uh, conversation? Uh, <laughs> uh, and you just hear a tick, 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 tick. Okay. and then um, on top of one of the mushrooms, <laughs> you see Grimshaw looking down at you. Um, and Grimshaw says, Knew it. well, um, not as of this moment. Um, uh, rumors do fly quite quickly through the forest, but um, I haven't heard of a rumor um, of late. Have you? I have not. That's why I was asking you. <laughs> That's not quite how that works. <laughs> I said I have not. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> well, if I hear of any rumors, I shall let you know you'll be the first, of course. You keep saying rumors. I thought I heard you say rules earlier. Heard you say rules earlier, right? <laughs> rules? Rules for conversation? Oh, it's called etiquette have you not heard of etiquette where you come from lapis shakes her head <laughs> how dare you <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, before we part ways uh, perhaps you would like to hear another poem indubitably <laughs> Uh, as Grimshaw speaks, he's already starting to fade away, and you hear, sing a song of six crowns, pocket full of loam, or, twen or four and twenty mushrooms will all lose their heads. And then he just disappears. What kind of home is that? <laughs> Uh, Hairspring is um, very anxious upon hearing that. Mm. Um, oh. Have you a translation, young Herringon? Uh, well, uh, I do believe that the Count uh, and the, his campestry court were to, um, to sing at court. Uh, but if they are not able to, I suppose that's what he means. Um, why wouldn't they be able to sing? Well. If they're unable to, well, Queen Rosora is, uh, well, she has quite a temper. Um, as I mentioned, my predecessor uh, left their post rather abruptly. <clears throat> and then he just sort of like... <laughs> does this with his scarf, just adjusts the scarf around his neck. Mm. Uh, perhaps we could meet them? Uh, oh, a an audience with the Count. Yes, of course. Um, this way. Um, and uh, he hops over um, uh, deeper into the mushroom forest um, 
and um, and then Hairspring looks back and looks back at all of you. How are you walking? I'm not. I was You're flying. <laughs> Do you mean like hmm. order or? No, I mean manner of movement. Oh. I think Lapis is probably walking and muttering into her bag at the same time. She's saying, look, I don't know what a broom party is either, but this is a lot of people, so <laughs> we got to see what it's like. <clears throat> so she's obviously carrying on her own little conversation with the... With I don't Lapis. have a broom either. Um, I think Chapter would just be kind of stri striding i think mm -hmm. is the right mm -hmm. word you know very very confident very brash very mm -hmm. um headlong into uh Her um, hairspring hairspring looks at all of you um including you otto and says oh oh dear i um i must have forgotten in all the uh conversation about h's and saying them or not saying them um uh it is the proper way to travel is by uh, by foot is to skip or hop uh, as i am doing walking or ambling is is absolutely frowned upon ambling ambling that sounds horrible <laughs> um chapter's gonna do the the dune um <laughs> The, like the sand shift sort of oh, for a God. second just, <laughs> just for a second just to see how it feels um but we'll we'll gladly skip okay i'm um, happy to skip it's unclear to Otto whether or not that pertains to them but <laughs> what they'll do is like on their broom we'll just kind of like do like a little <laughs> <laughs> like a little hop on the room. It's, I guess you guys can't. For those watching at home, uh, I, I'm not actually showing my camera in the chat, only on the stream, so they can't see me. <laughs> so here I am pantomiming what I'm doing, oh, and no. I can't even see. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so basically, yeah, the broom's just like kind of going up and down in like a hopping kind of motion. So. Um, mm -hmm. They're they're still abiding even though they don't actually have to walk. Uh, Suri will kind of uh, just to keep up, I think, because she she does not walk quickly anyway. She tends to get distracted. Uh, she will see if um, one will let her uh, ride him. Yeah, I think with your with your spell and the fact that you fed one, um, he's it is happy to oblige. Okay, um, so uh, she will try and kind of make her intention clear. And is it okay if may I have a ride? It uh, it just sort of nods back um, at you. How much tall would she have to jump to get on its back? <laughs> Probably. How much taller? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she's not like she's not gonna ask ask it to crouch down or anything. She's just gonna go for it and, mm -hmm. and try to and hop on its back. <laughs> I'm gonna make you do a, a oh, dexterity yeah. check. Oh no, you totally should because like, this is where I will get a one. Can can chapter help? Can I offer assistance to give Sherry the ad advantage? Ten is so fine. You you, you sort of scrabble. Uh, uh, one lets out like a little bit of a yelp as you like yank a little too hard to. to I'm adjust so sorry. <laughs> But then Better start making more shake. treats to get back on yeah. one's good side. <laughs> just, I just need a short rest. That's all I need. Just, just <laughs> bake some metal treats. <laughs> Make metal, some yeah. treats. Yeah. Uh, so it just shakes. Uh, it just shakes it off and um, and sort of like strides forward. Um, and when Hairspring is about to say something to one, it lets out a growl, and Hairspring just <laughs> <laughs> carries on. Um, and you uh, you make your way into this little grove where these um, 24 campestries are trying to sing, um, but they're looking a little like sickly oh. um, and some of them are coughing um, and one of them um, is a little bit bigger and has like a, a tiny little um, sort of a mushroom crown, like it's made out of mushroom and it's, you know pointed 
in a crown shape. Um, and um, he's trying to uh, encourage the rest of the campestries to um, continue on. Oh, I just got up here, but I think I need to go take a look. I'm so sorry, one. Uh, and she will try to <laughs> slide down without hurting it. One at this point kneels down. No, thank you. Is, is the one... So sorry. Is the one mushroom thing or whatever, is it still coughing? Wasn't there, like, one of them coughing? Yeah. There are a few of them are coughing. They look okay. a little bit ill. Um, yeah. That's, that's where Suri is going to... If there's one that is uh, coughing in particular, that's where Suri will head. Um, she She's going to want to make uh, a mess and check. It's kind of her... It's very much her, her thing, so... Okay. Um, so you head over there, and, um, and the Count, Count Kermini... Um, uh, looks over at all of you and says, oh, uh, sorry. Oh, welcome to my court. Uh, Hairspring has brought you here. Yes, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, to be forward. My name is Suri, and I, I, heard, I, I heard this one's cough, and I was hoping I could help. Oh, that's so nice of you. We're, um, uh, unfortunately, we've all fallen a little ill if, of late. Um, it's quite a bother, actually. Oh, um, Hairspring, you look like you you need to say something to me. Um, and Hairspring says, uh, uh, um, yes, um, I am here by decree of the Queen, uh, Rosaria, to let you know, to inform you that etiquette has changed at court, and uh, here's to forth uh the letter h must be spoken in uh, uh, every sentence oh um hello <laughs> friends hi hi Otto's Howdy. just in the background feeding one pitons from a pouch <laughs> <laughs> amazing <laughs> I have anything like that. <laughs> Everyone Everybody. has ball bearings. You have a best friend for life. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh my god! I, oh my god! I was gonna say you're a rookie. You might finally a the chance to use some of these tools exactly. that are not very often used in the game. It's we like... have one at D and D. If you've used both your pythons and your ball bearings, that's it. That's peak. Yeah. Yes. It's it's like wearing a treat bag with a with uh -huh. a new yeah. puppy, and they're just a little. You're like, oh, you did good. Yeah. It's, it's like a little like little pouch of trail <laughs> mix for a clockwork oh. animal. Yeah. Amazing. Um. So yeah, Otto, uh, you have a new best friend. Um, <laughs> And uh, the count, uh, oh, sorry, I'm actually going to get you to make a a med medicine check. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, she will cast guidance. Is are the ones that sing are they smaller than me? Yes, they're size tiny. I think. I, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say that they're size tiny. I'm, I believe that's that to be true. They're they're teeny tiny. Okay, that's uh, so um, carefully walk over. Uh, before you go too far away, I think just to be sure, I'm gonna just go ahead and cast enhance ability on you. Um, so you have advantage on wisdom checks now. Oh, I'm gonna you. do the owl's wisdom. Okay, uh, and she's cast uh, guidance. And she's walking very carefully because she does not want to step on one. <laughs> be I want to be terrible. clear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Medicine. And then with the guidance, that is uh, 16 total. Okay. So very clear to you that these uh, campestries are, um, it seems like um, they are ill uh, from possibly contamination in the soil. Oh.
Mm. Uh, she won't, uh, Zuri will explain that. Um, I wish if I had my tools, if we were back home and she's, she's very much a gardener and she's trying to figure out what she can do to. Are you touching the earth at all? Mm hmm. Um, when you, when you pull it up, um, you notice that it's kind of sludgy with oil. Um, and Hairspring sort of hops over and says, oh dear, it's worse than I thought. What is it? Um, the gears have been malfunctioning here in Bellaturnum. Um, it is a clockwork world, after all. Um, a as such, um, I've been tasked with going to the Underland to fix the gears. Um, otherwise, all of this will stop. Um, and it seems that the problem here is um, a leak, a blockage. I'm not quite sure. How, how widespread do you think it is? Or is this where it, it starts? Um, we ought to make our way to the carousel as quickly as we can. Um, However, I, I am quite concerned about <clears throat> the count and the poem about. Uh, yeah, I, I've been I've been thinking. Um, and then Suri, who is not good at this at all. Hey, hey, chapter. Uh, uh, how can I help? I I heard a rumor. <laughs> I I heard a rumor that back back where I'm from. It adds to the rhythm of the music when you cough during the melody. Have, have, you, have you heard that? I have also heard that. Um, and it's it, it's beautiful. It's great. It it adds a little bit of percuss percussive, um, not pertussis because that's bad, but percussive. <laughs> um, but yes, I have also heard that. Uh, Lapsus, you've heard that too, right? She looks kind of back and forth between them. Like she's she's almost got it. And then she goes, oh, I've got it. And she reaches down and she grabs a little handful of the soil and puts it in her pocket. And she says, pocket full of loam, like the rhyme. What, 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 what did you ask me? <laughs> Thank you, La Lapsus. That was very helpful. Thank you. <laughs> a little um, hand comes out of the bag and she goes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that. Kelly. Uh, Otto, uh, you heard. I, oh, go ahead. Yeah. You, you, need, you need to get inspiration. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> It's so good. I'm um, very proud of herself. <laughs> I think Bianca, uh, I want you to make a um, charisma, either deception or persuasion check, uh, or uh, actually any of you can make it. Um, can, uh, can with I help? advantage? Yeah. Uh, can I help chapter with? <laughs> I'm I'm happy to do that with advantage. Uh, yes, let's let's do this. Um, Otto, I think would do like a like a bird song and then like a coughing sound to to assist. Nice, yeah. That was that's that great. was lovely, Otto. Uh, that's a twenty two for deception. Amazing. All right, so combined, um, you feel really good about this, and uh, and Hairspring um, looks over at you and and says that that was quite genius i um thank you uh, quite all honored to be among such um heroic individuals um, happy to help then you should meet my parents <laughs> <laughs> um and uh count Carmini uh pipes in and says oh thank goodness i was about to ask if we could borrow one of your voices i have many <laughs> which would you like <laughs> That is true. Otto has many voices. Did, did you want to enter a, a fey bargain? 
Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think like, that's that's the laughing no that comes out of Otto. Is the, <laughs> no. I was like, Cage, I just worked so hard on that. Are you ready? Like, okay. <laughs> All right. Can you um, imagine though? <laughs> You'd be like, sure. <laughs> However, um, uh, the, Count Cremini, C- Count Cremini does say, uh, uh, "Well, um, I I think." Um, Thank you so much for, for, um, um, well, um, bringing the etiquette of your world here in, in our assistance. Um, if I should ever be able to assist you in the future, please do let me know. Um, I suppose I shall see you at the, um, at the closing ceremonies. Um, <laughs> Um, I'm gonna keep hitting my mic. <laughs> Hairspring, uh, Hairspring um, uh, says uh, to to the, all of you, um, yes. Um, well, uh, this is a little bit more dire than I uh, expected. I suppose we should uh, hop to it. Hop to it. And hops off. Um, and you pass uh, through the forest. Um, eventually making your way um, to a, an area uh, that cl- is a clearing. So the forest clears away and what you see ahead of you is a magical carousel of mechanical horses that's spinning around on a giant brass axle. And the horses here are covered in vines and flowers um, and they're just it's just like this really lovely sight as they're working effortlessly to keep this um, mechanical gear um moving um so are these like and, real um, horses as real as a construct could be oh okay understood i feel like when we get <laughs> here like so like so we're doing like the hopping thing and otto's kind of doing that on their broom i feel like they kind of get into like the same tempo as like the horses and then like is like kind of like going around with the the carousel with them sort of at their height (laughs) i think i think Otto, when you get uh to the horses then um what you notice is that there's actually oil that's like spurting up underneath them oh that seems not good (laughs) um uh chapter you hear caca <laughs> <laughs> and, and then another it is i and then uh the sound of a drink being uh poured and then um i i think they just like point <laughs> because i don't know that there's like really like a good i i can't think of a phrasing that would probably include oil that um Otto has heard and so maybe it's just like the sound of like a liquid you know gushing out or something and it's like pointing uh, chapter will rush over skip over very you know <laughs> lots of lots of skipping and hopping and um, we'll take a look and see uh, what what do we see uh, yeah you you see up close um, between the gears there's just like um, oil like s- splurting up um, from below. Um, hair- um, hairspring sort of hops next to you and just says, "Oh dear, oh dear. Um, I hope I'm not too late." Uh, how should we um, proceed here? Uh, do we need to? Do we need to get up underneath there and and you know? Oh Ooh. yes, there is. Um, there is a whole underland. Um, I a whole underland. Mm-hmm. Yes, um, we'll need to travel here um, ca- with caution, I think. Um, and it, he tries to hop delicately ahead. Uh, and. If you are going to follow Hairspring, uh, I guess everyone except Otto needs to make a dexterity saving throw as you're crossing this oily terrain. Uh, 
You all can't see me, but I just gave some peace signs and stuck up my th- my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> Hairspring got an 18. 18 for uh, Surrey. 14 for chapter. Natural. Natural 20 for Lapis plus 5, so 25 total. Dang. Very nice. Her last name is Lightfoot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guess I should roll for uh, one also. Oh, one also got an 18. All right. So you all very uh, deftly uh, make your way across this um, this gear as the mechanical horses uh, spin around slowly. And um, uh, Hairspring gets to the, like, there's a, there's a doorway in the middle. Um, it's just like this... Um, conical shape in the middle um and there's a doorway there that um hairspring opens um and um it heads deep into the underland of belliturnum hairspring steps down into the underland chapter will follow Hairspring, Hairspring lets you all know, um, um, as we enter Underland, um, there will not be prying eyes down here, if you catch my drift. Oh, so we don't have to worry about saying hello at the beginning of every sentence. Oh, thank goodness, yes. <laughs> <laughs> How lovely. If I never hear H again, uh, well, my name has H in it, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, you know what I mean. Um, I should warn you, though, there is a reason why Grimshaw does not like it down here. Um, every ten minutes, um, the gears move, so please be prepared. Okay. Um, Let's go. All right. So you head down into uh, Underland here, and um. Hairspring says, um, well, I suppose we ought to be on the lookout for anything um, unusual. In, I suppose it would be up there in the ceiling, um, something blocking um, blocking the, the oil flow. Um, I'm not quite sure what could possibly be the cause I'm gonna of that. I'm going to fly up there. Take a little look. <laughs> I think Lapis see. will let... Uh... Uh, Ruckus, come out of the bag to fly up there with Otto and look her. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Aww. All right, Otto, you get advantage on. Um, Hell you. An investigation check um, on the ceiling. Good, because I only have a plus one. <laughs> That's a nineteen. Very nice. I think you can you can uh, see that the flow is heading in a particular direction. Um, it seems like uh, it seems like whatever the blockage is, um, you can tell it's it's coming from a cave um, off to uh, uh, a side of the um, of the gears here. Um, it's in the distance, um, and um, yeah. What do you want to do with that information? Is Ruckus one of those creatures where you like see or hear through it? It doesn't really say. Well, I guess Otto wouldn't know that anyway. But Otto has probably been around people who have creatures who they can see and hear through. So Otto's going to like look at Ruckus and be like, that way. <laughs> Ruckus will nod. <laughs> Float back down and kind of like gesture. <laughs> <clears throat> um. All right. And then he hops back in Lapis's bag. Chapter is happy to uh, assist in any climbing um, because being a tabaxi, they've got uh, the claws and can climb pretty well. So, uh, sorry if you need assistance. That's good because I already fed one all my pitons. So, (laughs) (laughs) Um, so Hairspring says, Oh, uh, that direction. Hey, um, well. As things are moving about around here, um, I think uh, we 
likely need a navigator. Um, would any of you like to take the lead on that? Assume that somebody sure. with good survival. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, and survival. it's not me. I have plus one. I mean, Left. my wisdom is not great. Uh, kind of Although, awesome at survival. Actually, I think uh, it would make sense for Lapis. She's used to wandering around on oh, her Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, I was going to say either <laughs> that or the, I don't know how long yeah. it's been, but the enhance ability that I gave to Suri lasts for an hour. So I don't know if it's been that long or not, but. Yeah. Time, time is meaningless here, I feel like. <laughs> time is meaningless. Uh, but yeah, she can, I mean, she can help for, um, but because she is so in tune with nature, she's very good at survival as well. Nice. All right. All right, um, I want you to make a survival check then. Uh, we could, uh, we could make it together, Lapis, or either way. Uh, you Go can ahead. help one another, and one of you get advantage. Get advantage, yeah. She'll help you. Okay, she'll say, "Rocky said that way." <laughs> Uh, and I didn't say it. Uh, that's a 14. I forgot to say guidance, so 14. All right. Um, so you uh, wind your way around, um, and um, as you're doing so, you seem to be veering off in a different direction all of a sudden um, because of how the clockworks are going. Um, and for a moment, the caves look like they are further away. Um, in this moment, um, <laughs> you spot a what looks like a throne, like a, a chair. It is dusty. Uh, Sorry, we'll point it out. Yeah. Chap chapter's going for it. <laughs> You're going to sit in it? <laughs> uh, just across it, like legs akimbo. Like how we found you? Right, like like in a hammock, but across. All right, it. excellent. Dust so it off. when that happens, the dust like just poofs out. Um, hopefully, nobody's allergic. Um, and um, Rucka sneezes. And then <laughs> you 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 suddenly feel the throne. Uh, it's almost like it's doing a happy dance underneath you, and what you see is like this little happy little throne, um, jiggling back and forth. Um, and, um, Hairspring says, oh, oh my, um, that is, uh, <laughs> the queen's, um, previous throne, um, dismissed from court for being out of fashion. Oh, um, it's very fashionable to me. You look great, chair. Throne. <clears throat> throne. You look great, throne. <laughs> Um, the the uh, the throne uh, sort of like just keeps jumping up and down, very excited. Um, and Hairspring just says, "Well, um, this is a nice, uh, happy little reunion. Um, we must go, though." And Hairspring starts uh, wandering off. Um, chapter will whisper to the throne, um, "Do you can you help us get to where the leak is?" Uh, the the throne um, starts to hop in a direction. Love it. Um, and so you are one riding, hand. Yeah, riding on a throne, <laughs> an animated throne. We look, am we look amazing. We all like, look amazing right now. Like a like a rodeo clown. Just yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this image is just amazing. Lapis <laughs> <laughs> is like, this is why we don't hang out with people. <laughs> Isn't this fun? <laughs> this little hairless cat just um you uh you eventually um um you know uh, the 10 minutes pass and then um uh I need you all to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh. 15. 
Do I need to if I'm flying? You do not, Otto. <laughs> you in that Actually, room? Actually, no, you do. You do. <sighs> <laughs> I like I like your outrage. <laughs> uh, Thirteen as well for Surrey. So everybody got over. How 10. rude! <laughs> <laughs> Did Otto not make it? I got thirteen. Okay, you're all good. Um, it's just rude so, that I had to even try. Well, you would have bonked into a gear otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the the gears uh, uh, sort of stop for a moment and shudder, um, but you're all able to uh, stay upright. Um, and um, you enter. Uh, there is this like this this cave area. There's like glittering stalactites and stalagmites springing up from the ground and ceiling in this wide cavern. Uh, in the middle of all these gears, and there's a flickering light in the distance that glints through all this, looks like glass, illuminating, illuminating the area of the cave, where a deep baritone voice can be heard singing sea shanties. That chapter you recognize. Chapter's very excited. Start singing along. Like, <laughs> so giddy up, giddy up throne. Let's yeah, go. so this, the throne, um, the throne basically does like a little pony, um, <laughs> kickback and hot and sort of starts galloping forward. Um, as you gallop closer, um, you see, uh, the back of, um, of a creature and then in in front of a fire and across from it is an otter. Um, they are, they seem to be eating, eating a meal uh, that they're cooking on the fire. Um, the, uh, the creature that is in front of you with their back to you um, is wearing a pirate hat. I love this I so much think, because I, the adventure that I played in with you all with Otto, we were on the sea, and I imagine they probably know some sea shanties as well. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. Also, you said they are they cooking or eating? They're cooking. Oh, oh no. And okay. Eating. Well, eating too. Um, but uh, there goes the rest of the stream. Suri's just mm -hmm. gonna mm -hmm. go on <laughs> down by the fire oh, no. and exchange recipes and mm -hmm. critique their child. cooking. Chapter, you're still singing, are you? Yes, singing along with whatever shanty is there. As um, So if you can picture uh, this cat person, this tabaxi, uh, back feet on the seat of the throne, uh, one hand on like the, the back and the other hand kind of, you know, in forward motion, like onward style. Um, and then just kind of singing along to whatever this song is that that I probably know. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, just making it making it work. Um, so as you're as you're uh, singing and uh, going forward here, um, the figure at the fire whose back is towards you um, sort of bristles. And uh, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, okay. I'm good at those. Sixteen. Okay. Otto, I also need you to oh, make wait. a dexterity saving throw. Did you guys catch that? Yeah, we got sixteen. <clears throat> Dex saving throw, you say? Also, uh, yes. welcome on in Raiders uh, from D20 oh, wow. Monkey Stream. That's a 10. Oh, no. All right. So what happens is, um, chapter, you see this form bristle as you come closer. A dagger comes flying back at you. You dodge. And when you dodge, the dagger actually hits Otto, 
Oh no! The sky. Um, <clears throat> and you take three points of piercing damage from this dagger. Cool, 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 cool. Chapter draws their rapier. And when the pirate turns to face you, it is verse. <gasps> Chapter is on top of the like the peak of the throne of the throne. Like up and on top. <laughs> and rapier drawn. It's like you. You. You be the reason I'm here. You what are you talking about? I've been looking for you for a year. How do I know it's actually you? Well, I know it's you because you always thought yourself a, 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 a better than anyone and, and the, the, the throw him there. This was a happy, um, and he kind of looks around and then realizes that it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> a happy accident. This was just circumstance. This throne took a liking. And it was circumstance that brought me here after you caused me to be late due to that ridiculous argument of I don't even know what it was. I can't remember what it was about either. All I know is that you were upset and stormed off and then never came back. Because I, I was late and then I fell through a fey portal crossing whatever it is. Fey portal? Fey portal? Fey portal? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. We fell through the very same Fey portal. Well, I suppose luck had it that uh, you would uh, follow the same fate. While they're talking, Suri is like quietly sidestepping, kind of like a wide circle to get to where the cook is. She's not even really too worried about what's going on. She's just trying to get over so she mm -hmm. can, and she's just going to watch for a little bit to watch like technique. And she's got a little notebook that she pulls out and she's taking notes and she's just observing for a minute. Uh, so the, uh, the otter chef um, is clearly an awakened otter. Um, it is cooking giant barnacles, like the biggest barnacles you've ever seen. Interesting. Dang, this smells utterly good. <laughs> uh, the smell. otter, the otter shakes, shakes its head. <laughs> Not that I. I just like the idea that me. Otto mm -hmm. had heard that in order to say it. <laughs> yep. <coughs> It's the, I, I suppose you all know each other. We've recently acquainted. Best friends now. Is Best that right? friends Is that now. Right? We're having a broom party. You want to come? Because apparently everybody. <laughs> I didn't know about the brooms. <laughs> the otter, <laughs> the otter uh, looks up and, uh, and goes uh, behind some uh, stalagmites and pulls out um, a makeshift broom. Yes. It's, yeah. got like a, it's got like a metal handle and the um, the the fronds are, are also metal because that's basically all that's down here. Um, mm. So it, I bet it, that makes a really, really great sound against all the metal <laughs> when oh, you yeah. sleep with it. <laughs> we call this the bad place. <laughs> How, how, how long has it been for you down here, Verse? How well, long have you been here? Because I've been looking for you for a year. Uh, damned if I know. It's the Fae. The, uh, no idea. I, I arrived in the domain, met that fella there, um, put me onto the, some queen um, uh needing testimony and and uh that sort of sort of thing and well you know pirates life for me and all uh didn't think that i would get out so okay. i've been stuck here um eating oily barnacles cultivating them as you can see in my crystal cave here 
and um and as he, you as he as he just as they he they. they gesture um you actually notice that the the stalagmites and stalactites are actually barnacles um and okay. there's some oil dripping um from them uh they seem to be the cause of the clogging of the oh. gears and oil here um cool thank you we were just looking for yeah yeah chapters just kind of kind of take all this in have you i'm not sure you're using enough salt how much salt are you using you know what you know what they say also that do you have enough acid to to counter the oiliness of the barnacle uh, no um uh we're pretty limited in the resources here it's oil uh uh, I, sometimes we make a, a, a juice that's made out of oil. Um, sometimes we have a black sauce, but that's just oil. Mm. Hmm. I don't there recommend is... eating it without without any of the oil, though. Why? Mm. Well, there's like bits of, I don't know, metal maybe? I'm not sure. Oh. Do you happen to have any treats on you? Because I haven't had any um, outside food for a while now because this one over here just wants to live underground and we're buddies because he awakened me. But um, a snack would be real nice. Maybe that uh, looks like ra say... regular rations on me. Probably okay, yeah. Like... I was going to say, yeah. if, if you want... Suri can check Pocket's bag, like, and then you can tell me if she finds anything she doesn't remember, but that doesn't mean that... Yeah, if you have any rations, uh, this otter is yeah. Um, yeah, all for it. Oh, yeah. Lapis is going to cast Goodberry in hand. Oh, one. nice. <laughs> but just one. Just, uh, <laughs> She says... <laughs> she sees your face. The, the little tail. She casts it again and hands it to Verse. <laughs> oh! Uh, if we do it, if we take a, a bit of a rest, I can I can probably whip up some treats. Actually, I, I oh. do carry ingredients on me, just not. Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Um, the otter says, and um, verse, uh, chat, verse. No, yes, that verse. <laughs> Your chapter verse. Uh, verse lets out a sigh. Um, and looks over at chapter and says, you really looked for me. For a year. I was starting to give up hope. I was in the hammock, trying to figure out where you might be next when I ended up here. Mm -hmm. On my keister. On my tail. <clears throat> um, verse nods. Having to say H words in every sentence. Otherwise, <laughs> a displacer beast was going to get grinningly angry at us ah yes grimshaw hmm. that's their name grimshaw why given us cat's ground. name <laughs> indeed well I set up a hammock over here in your memory a bit tattered nice. at the moment <laughs> how lovely <clears throat> Um, Lapis all right. is going to hand Suri the good berries that she summoned. I, I guess while all this is happening. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> and first first agrees time. agrees to have um uh you know a, a rest um and just sort of nods over at Otto and says uh, uh makes a good adventure in Scar about uh, the injury that he sustained <laughs> from his dagger or their dagger. Yeah. Oh. I feel like there's probably some quip that Otto could come up with, but Cage isn't coming up with it at this exact moment. <laughs> What's an adventurer without a scar or two? Uh, uh, Jesse Ventura from Predator. I ain't got time to bleed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so you can take your short rest. Um, and while you're doing that, Hairspring is, uh, is going to start... Um, removing some of the barnacles but verse uh is not happy about it um and takes out a weapon uh 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's move before we before we resort to violence again. Um, uh, we need to talk about the fact that these barnacles are creating chaos upstairs and making life miserable for all of the people who are not the queen. Right? Is that a, is that a fair assessment? Chapel. Uh, yeah. Hairspring. Hairspring says, uh, "Yes, indeed." Oh my! Uh, you've drawn a weapon on me. Chapter will step between them. Um, Verse just says, well, misery loves company, don't it? Well, I mean, we're here now. Maybe, maybe we can, maybe we can leave. Maybe we can leave. Maybe we fix all this and then we, and then we bounce and we get out. We go home. We go home. Are you inviting me to your party? I am I party. Broom party. <laughs> broom party. I don't have a broom, but yes. I don't either. Otto and Surya have the brooms. Um and uh but yeah, let's 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 go. Let's go. I found you. Let's go. Um why stay? Bring your friend. While while they're talking, can Lapis look up at the barnacles and maybe nature check or something to try and figure out if they're actually something natural or what they might be? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, Suri will try and help because of the thing of um, she can cook with them, but that's more <laughs> why she's looking. But she'll try and help. So Ooh, delicious. Just a, yeah, exactly. Well, what does that mean? Because I rolled a four. You roll again. <laughs> You're all again. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> 11 plus 2 is 13. All right. Uh, you can tell that um, they're natural in the same sense that the one, the wolf, is natural. They're um, they're mechanical and um, flesh at the same time. Blech. Gross. Interesting. I wonder if I used a little bit of... What did I bring? Berries. Use the berries. <laughs> Um, I think after some time, if you're willing to help Hairspring, um, you know, I guess Shuck is, do you Shuck Barnacles? I don't know. <laughs> it's Remove a world them. of magic I and wonder. Uh, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Ruckus can help because he and Otto can get up here. Yeah. All right. So you're able to, um, dislodge the barn Barnacles that, um, are clogging up the area, um, and um hairspring just um just says well i'll need to come back at some some point to um get rid of the rest of these but um uh so long as you're not cultivating them anymore i i i should be able to make quick work or at least perhaps send the garrison to take care of this this work um and at this point like hairspring is just like you know white fur is just covered and matted in like all this dark oil and grease um He's got goggles on, so when he lifts them up, it's just like white circles. <laughs> oh, nice! Out. I'll uh, I'll help them out by doing a little press digitation. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's that's. Uh, thank you ever so much. Um, the uh, I need to be in um, in a better state than I am um, in order to see the see the queen. I suppose we are ready to do so. Ruckus yeah. holds his little dirty, dirty hands out and looks. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about anybody who needs it. Uh, and Suri, Suri did make food for six creatures. Very nice. Nice. Um, All right. Yeah, I think Otto, like you'll hear like this boisterous voice, be like, "To Her Majesty the Queen." <laughs> Otto, where have you heard that? Never mind. I don't <laughs> All right, so um, you make it down another stairwell, and um, uh, Hairspring opens up another door, and this door uh, leads out into what looks like a, a garden. Um, ahead of you, there's this um, thorny wall with uh, copper roses um, and flowers that shimmer around a black and uh, a, a white castle. Um, and black and white tiles lead onward. Um, and Hairspring uh, says, um, 
when Hairspring gets to these the squares, um, just you know, straightens out, um, makes sure there's no oil on on him, um, and just says, uh, "It is <clears throat> Hairspring, Royal Artificer, here on official business, uh, along with um, guests of the Queen," um, and tentatively steps onto the tile. And as soon as he does, there's like a whole bunch of chess pieces um, that rise up um, and he just slowly moves forward um, with little hops and looks back at all of you, nodding and gesturing with his head for all of you to follow. Chapter will follow. I mean, Otto follows right, on their broom. <laughs> you in that broom? Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Lap is um, long behind him. So the, this as well. The throne chair does a little like tries to mimic the dance that uh the hop that um hairspring is doing. Um and hairspring continues to move forward um towards the castle and um at, when you arrive at the castle there are castle steps uh that lead up. Um you see that Castle Belliturnum is this shiny beacon of metal and glass. Um, and there's like a mix of clockwork and vines um, around you. Um, and the towers rise into this glittery sky. Um, and a staircase leads up um, toward a throne where I will try to bring up the picture here. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. There's a clockwork queen <clears throat> here, and she points her scepter at all of you and says, oh. Trespassers! Spies! Quick, quick, dispatch them at once. Um but then um Hairspring looks around and says, uh, "No, no, no, Your Majesty. Um, uh, uh, these are these are guests. These are guests from another uh, realm, um, and they have uh, as assisted me um, greatly in our hour of need, um, as we were um, indisposed uh, due to the clockworks and um, that sort of thing." Um, and um, the Queen is just sort of like holding her scepter, twirling it around as Hairspring is just kind of blathering on. Um, and she says, well, young artificer, um, I suppose the clockworks have begun to move, but that does not necessarily give me reason to allow all of these um, riffraff out of the domain. How do I know that you're not spies? What is there to spy upon? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? I don't, actually. I don't. That's a good answer. <laughs> I don't. I just want to ride this throne off into the sunset. Oh, good riddance. A don't little, you don't you listen to what she's saying? <laughs> don't you listen? We we got a good thing going here, don't we, verse? Um, um, Verse just sort of nods, um, doesn't want to call attention to themselves. Um, and um, so with a snap of her fingers, um, all of a sudden, all the creatures that you encountered appear before her. And she says, well, we shall see, shan't we? Come along. Um, who's up first for the testimony? Um, uh, you see the, um, you see TikTok, um, the little shepherd, um, move ahead, um, and she points over to one and says, um, "Well." Without their assistance, um, it would have been quite a disaster. 
It takes great courage to stand against the wolves that roam on Numer Hill. To do so for a stranger in need uh, is a testament to their noble intent. Um, and she just sort of bows and steps back. And then um, the queen gestures again and um, the Count Cremini and his 24 mushrooms kind of hop forward in a little crowd. And the Count says, without, without their assistance, our performance would have been a disaster. Hmm. The queen nods. Indeed, the cough added a uh, je ne sais quoi. <laughs> Um, and so the queen nods and says, indeed, indeed, you have, uh, you have shown, um, reverence to the, uh, those of my domain. Um, I suppose you've also, according to Hairspring, um, uh, assisted with the gears, um, that run Bellitonum. And I suppose, therefore... I find you innocent. <laughs> Where was that clang? Was I don't know, but it was oh, one. It was my... no, that was, I thought it was you, Cat. <laughs> it was my little copper D20. Okay. Otto's trying not like... to look surprised. <laughs> oh, that's so good. All right. Um, so, um, Grimshaw appears again. Um, this displacer beast with the uh, uh, clock, uh, clock hand tails, tentacles, and um, just appears and says, "Well, everything they've said, and everything um, the um, your your citizens have said is true." I bid you all good day and farewell. Um, and so with that, the queen, um, the queen gives you a, um, a pile of gold. <laughs> and, um, and also, um, and also allows you to leave her, her kingdom. Um, and I have lost my place here. Inkly Otto just um, makes the sound of a bunch of coins clinging together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so you, you're awarded a handsome sum of gold. And then uh, the queen um, has states that you have earned her favor um, and grants you leave, issuing a special key to Hairspring and you are magically transported back to that fairy door corridor that you first landed in. Now that you are here, Hairspring says, um, says his thanks. And um, I want you each to describe your exit door. Otto, do you want to start or? Uh, I think that the door looks like, like a very, um, I don't want to say like generic, but very like run of the mill, like tavern door, like old wooden, probably like a sea tavern. So it's kind of got like the, um, like the, like the, the salt air kind of like erosion to it and sort of like that briny vibe. And it's just got like these very like simple, like brass, like fixtures on it, like a, um, and maybe like, uh, and was it just like the door? I'm thinking like there's probably like some sort of like lantern or something beside it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, yeah. And if, if you can hear what's beyond it, I think you can hear like like the chatter of of voices and you know mm -hmm. tankards clattering <laughs> and like a song, like a bard probably playing a tune. Oh, nice. Um, Bianca, what about Surya's door? Yeah, Surrey's door would be, um, it'd be more notable would be the stone archway, like a, uh, 
dark gray, but also covered in uh, flowers and ivy. And if anything, the, the perfume of flowers would be in the air. Mm. It's a very um, well-made door. It's a cathedral door. And so it's very... Um, uh, formal is not the right word, but you can tell it's very uniform. It's very well built. Um, and even like a mixed amongst the smell of the flowers, there'll probably be a little bit of incense and uh, just very calming effect being near that door. Yes. What about Lapis Kelly? Uh, so it's a door within the tree that she had been staring at earlier. So it's like a rounded door, kind of like a nightmare before Christmas where, you know, the doors are in the tree trunks and it's a little, it's a little purple Drake sign on the, Aww. on the center of the door. So she knows that's for her. She opens the door and she waves by and she steps in. And as the door closes behind her, she says, wait, what do I do with this pocket full of loam? And then the door closes. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and chapter, you and Verse stand uh, at, at this door. What is it? Uh, it's very similar to Otto's door. Uh, very uh, crusty we salt. We walk into the uh, same tavern. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, right? Like, are, we going so awkward. are we going to the same place? Um, <laughs> no, this is uh, like a ship's door. Like a, the door of a ship. Um <clears throat> Uh, I feel like it's kind of like to the captain's quarters um, and uh, very <clears throat> worn, but once ornate and um, lots of uh, lots of scratches on the outside from uh, tabaxi cloths and um, uh, chapter would open it and then would offer the door to verse and it's like are you coming are you coming with or you stay in. Uh never wanted to leave faster and he <laughs> hops through the door <laughs> they hop through the door uh and the uh and the little otter pal uh looks up at you and hops through as well and the throne chair look kind of, you, can, you can sort let's of go. tell that it's looking at you yeah let's go okay leaps <laughs> new captain's chair new captain's oh, yeah. chair yeah. nice and with that you you make your exit back to your home um and uh you have successfully left the domain of bella turnum hey thank you and happy Ooh. birthday yeah happy congratulations birthday. on tripling your donation goal tonight That's awesome so. thank you so much to everyone in chat that was really great i had so much fun on my birthday playing playing with all of you and just like being able to hang out with people in chat it was very yeah. nice <laughs> Do we want to just go quickly around and just let people know where you, where to find you? Start with uh, Jason this time. Uh, I'm uh, at Punk Junior anywhere on the internet, Twitter, uh, Instagram, Blue Sky, um, all all of the places at Punk Junior. All right, uh, Kelly. Uh, I'm Kelly Knox. You can find me on Twitter at, at Kelly underscore Knox because uh, I'm there all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Bianca. Yeah, I'm Which at Bianca there. Bickford on Twitter, or you can look at my portfolio site. It's biancabickford.card.co. For a second, I forgot the domain. Biancabickford.card.co. Bianca okay. Uh, hey, y'all. Uh, I'm Cage, and I've been uh, Otto for you, the Kenku Sorcerer, and you can find me <laughs> most places online at Rage underscore Cage underscore Games, um, but all of my socials and publications and stuff are at RageCageGames.com. And I'm Cat Kruger, birthday girl. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, I, you can find the me birthday master. Unicorn. <laughs> birthday master. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate all of you for taking the time to do this. Uh, this was a really fun way to spend my birthday. Yeah, so, thanks for inviting thank you. So thank you. And thank you. Thank you, every, thank you to everyone who donated today, too. This was just a really great, great little activity on a Monday night. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess uh, I have no sign out anymore. <laughs> I know it's like misadventure. <laughs> Wait, I don't know. Misadventure. <laughs> we'll just say broom party. Yeah, broom party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>